Let's go see how easy duct locks are to use. Simply snap the duct lock pan to the top of the pole, hold the pole vertically at all times, and carefully extend the pole upwards. For safety reasons, never take your eyes off the pan until it is securely locked in place. Make sure the foam seals around and makes good contact with the ceiling all the way around the register. Extend the pole until the spring is nearly completely compressed, then just twist the pole to lock it into place. That's it. They can even be used on high sidewall registers as long as the pole can get about a 45 degree angle and be braced up against something. Zip wall poles can be set on top of beds, low walls, stairs, and other obstacles that would certainly make using a ladder very difficult. They also come with these non-skid plates that allow you to brace the poles on top of even the most delicate furniture surfaces. If you've been doing duct testing for any length of time, I'm sure you've run into that register in the middle of a 16 foot or higher ceiling, and the only way to reach it would be with a 12 or 16 foot step ladder. Here's a great example. Look at all the furniture and the chandelier that's in the way. Imagine trying to get a step ladder in here to reach that register. Just look how easy it is with duct locks. Every duct lock set comes with a small return pan. This simple little pan was actually an accidental discovery. It was originally just a plate that sat on top of the stack to protect the top so that you could put a strap around it. After carrying around beat up pieces of cardboard with 10 inch diameter holes cut in them to help attach the duct tester flex duct to the return grill, it didn't take long to realize that this little plate could serve a very useful purpose. Just drop the collar down through the hole and tape it securely into place. Attach the flex duct and look how easy it is to set up against the return grill. The poles support the weight of the flex duct while you tape around the edges to make the final seal. If you really hate tape altogether or just want to save even more time, we also make this large 24 by 34 inch return with the same two piece foam seal. It fits over the largest common size return grills with no taping required. Once you preset the poles to the right length, it goes up in one swift motion. Well, thanks for watching our little homemade video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something as well. For more information, please visit our website, www.sierrabuildingscience.com.